I can't stop talking about this. I can't stop thinking about this. I can't stop looking into this nightmare. Troubles my heart. Troubles my mind. Shook the foundation of my soul. My soul. My soul, how can this be? This white world lies. How can this be? This white world lies everywhere, every place, every day, everywhere you go. Lies. Lighting all lies, carries all lies, breathed into all. Why, oh, but why? Why, oh, but why? Why, oh, but why? This is a war against humanity. This is a war against humanity. This is a war against humanity. The Christian says, Messiah died on Friday. Lies. The Christian says, Messiah raised on Sunday. Lies. Islam said, the most I have no soul. Lies. Quran says, Judas goes to the cross. Lies. The civil ruler says, they can bring the world peace. Like it. The Christian says, on Sunday is the day of rest. Lies again. Islam said, Friday is the day of eternal rest. Lies, lies, lies everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. whoa, whoa. Lies everywhere. Mm -hmm. Lies, lies. Ooh. Oh, here you go, Santa. Divine greetings, family. Yes, a greetings to every one of us. I mean, the people after the hearts of Abihua. I mean, the apples of his eyes, the very light, the blessed nation eternal. Yes, family, here we are again in this you know, presence to discuss another powerful area of his mind in a such a time as this. 
You know, that is what I keep asking myself. <laughs> what or who could have ever, you know, put me in this situation? Hmm? To be discussing the matter of Abayo every now and then, putting out video every day. Who, okay, could have ever, you know, put me in this position? If not for the lockdown, if not for the shutdown, stay indoor. Let me tell you, believe it or not, this is Abe Yehoah, okay? And every single one on this planet watch for a deity. We are all, we are all watching for a deity. Like me, I'm watching for Yehoshua HaMashiach. Okay, like the Christian don, they are watching for Jesus Christ. All right, like the Islam, they are watching for Mahadin, their Messiah. Okay, like the Buddhists and the yeah, Hindus, they are also watching for their still, uh, still say word. Okay, the very whatever you believe on, this is the time to watch for him. Yahushua said, Watch for me, watch with me, watch and pray. So, Abba Yehovah is moving powerfully, he's so sad, he's so called, you know, representative. Okay, the, of, of God said, so, Devil is the one, is, is if uh, they said it's G5 now. <laughs> G5, Devil Network, uh, the mark of the beast network. All right, family. Quickly, I want to put that out that we are all watching for it in a, such a particular time as this. We need to talk about the one we are supposed to be watching for. All right, we want to do it again. We want to go another most powerful area, okay? I bet you want us to expose, you know. To his own children. We are, let me tell you, we are only doing this only to reach out to the elect. The elect is our focus goal. Is our focus point. Okay? They are the reason. We keep speaking. Rather, Abba Yehua keep giving a vision. Keep giving word. He said, in a time as this, my sons and my daughters, I'm going to pour my spirit on them and they're going to be on the feed. You know? In search of the elect. This is the time to do that. Sometimes I want to have a tough message. You know, when I see vision message, I buy a bringing message. I will take it, you know, two days off from my working place. I say, okay, you know, that will fix it. Listen, you don't even need to say, please, I'm not coming to work. You need to do, you are home. Where are you? And where am I? We are in the shutdown. So Abba Yawa wants us to discuss his mind. He make everything for his own use. Mm -hmm. you, might, you might be saying, okay, it is the people of the world, power of the world that put us in this position. That is not true. In a nutshell, of course, Abba Yawa can also use a donkey, okay, to bring us his, bring out his wheel. He used fish. He used donkey. Yeah, I can also say he used them. All right? I'm not disputing that at all. All right, now let's do it together, family. Here we are in the heavily cut room of Abba Yawa with this powerful message titled for you and me. COVID-19 war, flash, Chris, masturbator, Oyakinome, the greatest wizard, G566 rumors. You get that? Should I check it again? COVID-19 war, flash, Chris, masturbator, Oyakinome, the greatest wizard, 5G66 rumors. Okay, so let's begin to put scriptures. Because th th this is the science. He said, okay, you're going to be seeing real war and you're going to be hearing also the rumors of war. So the real war we are going through right now, you and I, it is COVID-19, coronavirus. But the rumors, it is the G5. I never knew that it's also the so-called believer. No, this one is not believer. Impersonator, deceiver, deceitful workman that masquerades himself as an angel of light. Miwa is a dark man. Is devil from the pit of that is why I call is the greatest wizard. Okay, now when Apostle Shahud, whom you copper is bringing out some message, you will say, Ah, this one is not Yehovah, but this one is me. Uh -huh. So sometimes when we are saying, Ah, Abba Yehovah is also in it, so that is the greatest wizard. I thought it was TB Joshua. No, TB Joshua is just a learner, the greatest wizard. It is Chris. Okay, Chris Masturbator. That is his source name. Is 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 his. I saw me before me, then I'm also going to be included in your kingdom so that you will know the very one I'm talking about. He is not the very one to fulfill these scriptures. He said you will hear of war, and you will also hear, rum hear of rumors of war. How can you call, call ordinary whatever G5? 
a mark of the beast network. Anyway, like I always love to say, it's not by emotion, mm -hmm. not by sensation, not by feelings, not by radiation burning, but by the a royal loss objective. So one will be proving him so, so dumb and so wrong. Okay? By saying that through the eyes of the royal law. So stay tuned. Alright, Proverbs chapter 28, verses 16, I read. A ruler who lacks understanding is a great oppressor. Krista, you know me, you lacks understanding. I never know you are such a big fool. I know you were empty. But I never know you are indeed so dry that. So dried without no revelation and without no vision. You don't even know the network of the mark of the beast. You now begin to call ordinary objects the mark of the beast. Ah oh, no, a big shape. That is why you are the greatest wizard there. So you are a great oppressor, okay? Because you lack understanding. You know nothing at all. A ruler who lacks understanding is a great oppressor. But he who hates covetousness will prolong his days. <laughs> the Christian you know, man, hates covetousness. You buy two, you have two private jets. Now, in a nutshell, what is anti Messiah? In according to the biblical uh, eschatology or to our own eschatology, the, the mark of the beast figure is a religion, is, 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 is coming from a religious uh, 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 grounds. It's not just some made up G5 or chip mm -mm -mm. or microscopic. Uh -uh -uh. No, 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 no. According to the book, this bastard Carrie said is a policy, is a religion, okay, is a leader. So, what is anti Messiah, like I said? It means the opposer, which is Christian you know, number one. It makes a liar, the one that's going to be fighting against the truth. Just like Abba Yawa says, Shabbat is the rest day. The anti messiah said, no way. It is Sunday. It is a Friday. That is what the anti messiah is all about. To wage war against the truth. Simply put, a religion that is going to be fighting against so hard the truth. That is the opposer. Impersonator. Uh, the only messianic sign says it's three days and three nights. Anti messiah said, no way. It is a day and a half. And the feast is called Passover. Ante Messiah said, no way, it is Easter. That is what Ante Messiah does. He is to fight against the truth in order to push a lie as a doctrine upon everyone, to infuse it by force upon everyone. That is what Ante Messiah actually means. He is not some kind of a G5 network just to up upgrade. Now you are going from level 1 to level 2. So that speaks of, you know, anti-Messiah, Mark of the Beast Network. I know, like I said, he is so, you know, I know he was empty, nothing, absolute. He just a noise maker. But I never know, uh, knew he was so dried as this ordinary leaf that the wind tossed here and there. Anyway, let me not be using my own words. We also have so much to cover here today. I pray Abbe Yewa help me to do that. Let us begin to prove uh, pro Prove the point, or rather scripture, to validate this very title. Again, the love of money is anti-Messiah. Okay, because Abba Yawa said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, when the love of money grants lay hold on you, you're not going to be loving your, uh, 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 loving your neighbor as you love yourself. You're going to be saying, ah, I care for, only to be caring for yourself. That is what Christa Hinome is doing. That is anti-Messiah, my friend. That's what it means. You don't love souls. Only to be put a pumpy, a pumpy, that this bastard now begin to give a word for the highest giver in this ministry. Oh no, that will turn my stomach. That is simply called anti messiah because now you are only for yourself. You want to be taken from the poor. That is what it is, anti messiah. Oh no, I bet you will help me today <laughs> so that I won't be using my words. But when you go into this man, you know. Oh no, secret, oh no, uh -uh. Too, it's, it's fully loaded. That was why I called him now the greatest wizard because TB Joshua, if we have to judge now, is an angel. Krista Hinome is the greatest wizard. No, TB Joshua is another wizard though, but he's a sumo sumo fly wizard. The real Baba wizard, the grand pop Baba wizard, it is called Chris Master Beto Oyaki Hinome. 
All right, now this is the signs of the last days, guidance according laid down by Yahushua Hamashiach, I mean the biblical Messiah. Okay, now Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You see, so the real war is coronavirus, and the rumors of war is the one uh, this bastard, this great wizard, the masturbator Chris, or Yahid Kenome, is just spreading everywhere. I don't care whether you retrieve your statement already. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is still not yet. Okay, so what the message you should have been preaching is this COVID 19 is a real war. And every other one just they make it and uh, somebody forge it together and they create coronavirus. Th that one is rumors of what? Stop it. Then you will begin to encourage the body of Messiah and you begin to prepare them from the, for the upcoming event. But you are watching for Jesus. Let me tell you, in Islam eschatology, <laughs> your Jesus is <laughs> coming as a radical Muslim. You know he's a prophet over there. And he's gonna play the part of prophet over there. As a radical Muslim. Converting all of you by sword straight to Islam. Just as you inf infuse Christianity madness upon our forefathers those days. In like man, Islam is also going to be, you know, forcing you to take, you know, Allah. If not, Jesus himself, you will see. Because they said Jesus is coming with Mahadi. And Jesus is going to lay his right hand uh, 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 on the shoulder of Mahadi, commanding Mahadi to convert the whole world to Islam. If not, you will be beheaded. You don't know what is coming before, and that is the anti the final one to go. Every every single uh, single criteria given unto us according to the book you carry is found in Islam. This is the need, written name of Allah. Okay, so that's what I want to do on Friday. I'm gonna be using your language for for your better understanding. Because if I call it six days nine, she will say ah, or he will say ah. What is it? What is that? So that is why sometimes, yeah, I just blend it together. Nevertheless, we, let's read together. First John chapter 2, verses 18. Little children, it is the last time. When you say last time, that is the very moment we are now. As ye have heard that anti Messiah shall come, even now there are many anti Messiahs, whereby we know that it is the last days. Now, it said many. You see, there are so many. Like we are just read Matthew 24. When you also read 24, we are also going there. It said many false Messiahs. What are they going to be doing? They're going to be beating against the real Messiah. We see them already. Christian is after us. Islam is before us. We are just in the circle. This one will beat against us. The other one will beat. That is, the, that is what is called anti-Messiah. To be infused by all mis lies in order for you to neglect the truth. That is what is called anti-Messiah. Not just some kind of upgrades. You want to you know, upgrade from level 1 to level 2. So now your G5 is not human being to worship. I think Messiah is going to be worshipped. He's going to rule for a thousand years. So your G5, I never know this man is such a beast. Let's put some more. You know, even 2,000 years ago, Auntie Messiah was already there. The one that came before Yahushua and the one that is still coming after them, they are Auntie Messiah. Now, let me tell you, Messiah have a spirit. Messiah have a body just like Yahushua. So the one we are seeing all this time plus Christianity, even the Hindus, the Buddhists, they are all Auntie Messiah. Okay? They are all, there is a person, is a religionalist, okay? Is a, a, a people that believe a deity to be worshipped. Let me tell you, you and I, we are being made to worship a deity, okay? But worship the right, the right, the, the one that created all, which is Yehovah. It's, it's, it's inbuilt in us. We create, we will be created only to worship. Okay, so that's why some people give it to stone. That's why some people give it to wood. And that's why some people also give it to money, Okay? That is who we are in a nurture, in a nature. We are just being created only for that reason, to worship a deity. So now it depends on who you are giving that worship to. Okay? Some worship lies. If they don't tell lies, they can't go to bed. Hmm? So that is it. So right now, Auntie Messiah, he has a body, he has a spirit. So the one we have been seeing, even before Yahushua comes, and after he has left, up to Plus Christianity, the very one we are now, they are all anti messiahs They are all anti messiahs Now that is the body of anti messiah Now the okay, no, that is the spirit, excuse me. 
That is the spirit of anti messiah Let me tell you, anti messiah now have body. So the body is to reveal the way it is. The body is to say, this is who, you, who I am. I can also call the one we have been going through, the shadow of anti messiah That is what we want to discuss on a sixth day, simply known as Friday. Okay, six days of the week. Okay, so I want to discuss the flesh of anti messiah The real shadow, the shadow, no, we are going through the shadow now. <laughs> the, the real anti messiah is horrible. Okay, so that's what we have been going through since then, even till now. Plus, Christianity, our shadow of anti messiah and the spirit of anti messiah The flesh of anti messiah is almost here, which is Islam. That is what the, the, the Bible says, not some kind of a, a G5 network. Christina, you are a bastard, okay? So let's take some guidance from the Royal Law, Revelation chapter 13, 15 to verses 18. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He's speaking of the uh, Mahadin over here. That he that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast. Oh my father. The image of the beast. Mm -hmm, Okay, should be killed. Is this is is death penalty? Sixteen, and it causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bad, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That is seal of ownership. You want to do it by this is by the sword. So what, where are the poor today? They are indoor. Where are the rich? Uh, the, the rich today? They are indoor. So the coronavirus said, "You do you the rich? You can be go and be throwing party." No, one not bind us. That is the shadow of Sharia law seventeen. And that man, that no man should buy or say, save he that had the mark or the the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath Understand it, Krista. You know me, you lack understanding. That is why you are a great oppressor, king. Okay? Can't the number of the beast for it? He is the number of man, and his number is six, six, six. Did you get that? Six, six, six. He's a religionalist. He is not cheap or dead. Let's put some more. I have, I have so much negative word, you know, to blast you, but I don't have, have room for that. Rather, let me be feeling it. With the word of your one, let me put the word of 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 over there, yeah, which you know, which is of a great word. We know, we know already the beast. You know, the mark of the beast has a name, and he also have a number, and his number is sixty six. So now that this is the reason why the whole world is trying to confuse themselves, not us, because the six days of the week it is where you call Friday. That is six days of the week. Even some calendar now they are coming into reality. First day of the week is the one you call Sunday. Six days of the week is the one you call Friday. And that is the number of the beast. And that is the number of the man. He said this beast has an image. So I want to read now. Daniel chapter 2. Image is not G5. Oh there. Okmoto. Look at how ugly you are. Oxon devil. Christ masturbate or your kid no me. Daniel chapter 2 verses 43. And what as thou sawest, I am mixed with Mary Clay, and they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Now, who is this speaking about the image of the beast? Daniel chapter 2 in Babylon. Remember, we are in the mystery of Babylon now. Okay, now he said this folly deity Daniel uh, Nebuchadnezzar saw in the vision is going to be, you know, conjoining himself with the seed of men. Now go to the seed of men and the number of the men. It is number six. That is the mass authority, number six. That is the number of man. Now he said this folly dead is going to be me God themselves. Okay, with the number of men. That is why the mark of the beast. That is why it's being called 666. Okay, now we get this attribute, six of it, in next line. Let's put some more before we begin to expose all this. This is a Quran verses that said, Allah is the best of all deceiver. I put this together myself, okay, by His grace. Quran chapter 354, Allah is the best deceiver. Quran 7, 
Latina, Allah is the best deceiver. Quran 8, 30, Allah is the best deceiver. He is the mother of all settlement. That is what the Mecca is being called. So right now, I want to first of all put what we saw with our own natural eyes here on earth. I want to put that before we keep putting scriptures, okay? Another definition of the, We want to first of all dig into the 666, not just G5, Christa, you know, is a beast, okay? Now, according to Islam, I follow them, okay? But I don't keep to their stupidity. A Quran is the last revelation, okay? Muhammad is the last prophet. And flash their last seven head. You can see that in Revelation 12, okay? Now, one of the six. Muhammad was six years old when he became an orphan. He becomes an orphan. He lost his father and his mother while he was six years old. Now, Allah also revealed unto Muhammad uh, a, a baby of six years old to be his wife. Muhammad was 40, uh, 43 years old. He married a baby of six years old called baby Aisha. That is two six now, okay? And Allah said, the day of his rest, set apart day, it is six days of the week, simply known as Friday, okay? Another six again. Muhammad uh, used his own hand to bury six of his own children. Altogether, he has seven. He put with his own hand six in the grave before he died. <laughs> this speaks volume. Another six again. Just six months, Muhammad died. The only surviving child called Fatima also died. Only six months. Okay. Now the last six to go. Uh, we also get this from their fatwa. This is Islamic barrier, okay? That within six hours, uh, anyone that died needs to be buried. Now, this their fatwa stated this way that uh, when a woman died, so before they put the woman in the grave, her husband had the great privilege, you know, to bang, bang her to have sexual intercourse with the cause within six hours before they will put the woman in the grave. So we have six, six, six. This is their religion. This is their authority. And this is what they want to be passing upon people. When Islamic man comes, he's going to be married six years old. You're going to be keeping six days of the week. This is the number of, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, of the beast we found in Islam. So not just that, we still have many more. Now let us go according to our royal law. What, did he, what, what was the criteria he gave unto you and me to know the mark of the beast system? Christianity is the spirit of the beast system, but Islam is the flesh. That one is horrible. So now we have 666 six, six already into six places. You know, seven is always the completion of it all. Now the number six to go, the very last six to go is for the whole world to convert to Islam and be keeping six days and be worshiping Allah. Okay. And uh, that one, that is there. You can see this in Revelation. Uh, Revelation 12, 3. There are seven heads. Only left one head to go. Revelation 31, there are seven heads, only one head to go. All oh, six is being plucked out, just one to go. And one six to also go for Islam, they have six already. So right now, according to the royal law, uh, uh, governing system, let's see the criteria of the anti-Messiah. This year, yeah, John C. Suleiman. That one is John C. Sule Butana, John C. Sule Prostitute. Your, your vision said, you said your Jesus gave you a vision that uh, uh, your popery or your papacy is everyone that is dying in Italy is the one using them for sacrifices. That man has a dilemma in his hand. You are so bad. You are so beast. If I, you are a beast, how dare you say that? He gave you something, the one you watch for. Every single thing you do as a Christian, your purpose give it unto you. How can you have this such a dilemma in your hand? And say your Jesus revealed to you that everyone that died in Italy is using them for sacrifice. So the one that is dying in America, you are the one using them for sacrifice, isn't it? So this is how this 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 is how empty the, the, the in fact this coronavirus indeed is doing a great. It brings every one of us together to be looking into their stupidity now, the mark of the beast or uh, uh criteria. So just a solid destruction. You can't be eating somebody's food. You will also be bitty person. No, it doesn't work that way. Respect your Pope, okay? And stop making noise. Turn that strike all of you because you are all deceiver. You can't do no miracle anymore. Now you begin to talk trash. You all is doing some cover up. Now sense in the highest place from the belly of Jesus, your master, in your was mighty name. I read now first John chapter 2, 22 to 23. Who is a liar? I want to dig into the 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 the, 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 the secret of the anti-messiah who is a liar 
But he that denieth that Yahushua, the Messiah, he is anti-Messiah. If you deny the Islam, deny the cross. They said Judas goes to the cross. Now you can see Quran chapter 4, verses uh, 170, uh, one, verses 170, uh, verses 157, stroke 158. Judas, he denied the cross. They are coming. That is the reason why they are coming after you, okay? He is anti Messiah that denareth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denareth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the, fa uh, the Son hath the Father also. Now, tell me, now, I said this religion is going to be denied. There is nothing like the cross. There is nothing at all like the relationship of a father and of a son. You don't. Allah have no son. Now, tell me, now, what mouth, a mouth do a G5 have to say all this? G5 don't even know what, that, what is cross before G5. But this religion is going to be saying, no, you lie. There is no father relationship. There is no son. So let's go to Quran. It's better we fill it with the word of Allah also. All right, now I read Quran. Where is it? Quran chapter 2, 116. Listen. They say Allah has, has begotten a son. No, glory is not good to Allah. Allah is the word, is what the heavens and the earth contain. All things, okay, it said there is no song. Only Allah over there, okay? We'll go for another one. Don't praise Allah. Quran 5, 160 again. Uh -huh. the, uh, there, Allah will say to Jesus, the son of Mary, did you say to mankind to worship you? And, uh, uh, and uh, Jesus will say, no, I never said. Only Allah worship is you. It's coming. Allah is sending Jesus for this reason, to, to, to pit all of you. That madness. Quran 6, 101. One okay, no, I can't praise Allah. You, you can be reading because I can't praise Allah. He said, Allah have no son. The earth have, okay, he said, Allah have no son. I can't read that, any of those nonsense. Let me quote another one. Quran 9, verses 30. I just want to be reading the place that he said. He uh, said, the, the Yahudims uh, say, Ezra is the son of Yehovah. While the Christians said, Jesus is the son of God. Such are the, okay, he said, the lie. Okay, he said, may Allah punish you for saying that, okay? I'm not, I can't praise Allah. I'm sorry about that. Quran 10, uh, 68. They say Allah has begotten a son. God, Allah forbid. Okay, you hear that already. Say that is an abomination. Allah don't have a son. Another one, Quran 19, 35. Such was Jesus, the son of Mary. That's the whole uh, uh, truth. Uh, that that God, Allah forbid that he himself should begot a son. Okay, he said he's forbidden. Only that part I will be reading because I can't praise Allah, okay? It's their book. Quran 1988. Let me go there again. Those who say Allah of mercy have begotten a son preach lies, falsehood. Okay? We we'll go to another one. Where is it now? Quran 2319. Never has Allah have uh, never has Allah begotten a son. Did you hear that? We we'll go to another one. Quran 37, 151. Surely they lie when they declare that Allah has be, Allah has uh, begotten children. He said, you are a liar, okay? Okay, uh, Quran 39, verses 4. Had it be, will, okay, if Allah, he said, Allah don't have a son. He said, had it be his will to abduct a son, he would have, okay, he said, maybe if Allah want to, you know, decide he can abduct, but for Allah to give have a son, you are a damn liar. That is why they are coming for you. Uh, Quran 4382. Uh, say, if the Allah of mercy had a son, I would have been the first to worship him. Muhammad said, if assuming Allah was having a son, he would have been the first to worship him. Huh. What, what, what a mess. Quran 72, verses 3. Listen, another boza. Okay, I can't praise Allah, I'm sorry about that. Has taken no wife, nor has he begun a son. He said, the blasphemy of among us. Has uh, uttered the went on. He said, You like went on first old against Allah for saying Allah have his son. That's why they are coming because it means strong blasphemy. You say Allah is having says, Eh, it's a strong blasphemy for them. Don't try it. Quran 102, oh, excuse me, 100 and Quran 112, verses 1 to 4. I just read the part that pertains to Allah. Allah is what? The eternal Allah. He begat not, nor was he. Nor was he begot any. Did you get that? 
I stop over there for the sake of time. So this is the royal law. It denies. Quran sharply denied the relationship of a father and a son. Why? Because Ishmael is the progenitor of Islam. Because Ishmael was being rejected by his own biological father, never be chosen and be cast out of that family. That is why Allah have no son. When they say, indeed, it's truth, and you not say Jesus is the son of Allah, you wait for them. Quran 19, you can go and study it, how Allah brings Jesus into this world. Okay, that is their own version of your Jesus. You see, the only return Jesus is coming to you, it is to behave all of you that says, Allah have a son. Jesus is coming to say, I never said I'm the son of Allah, neither did I go to cross. I never asked people to worship me. In the Islamic eschatology, it is dreadful about his Jesus. Oh, no. It's coming with the, you know, being a radical Muslim. <laughs> All right, now you see already we put some more. Revelation 12, 9 said, The red dragon, that old serpent, will deceive the whole world. Allah in the Hebrew language simply make cause. You see serpent and you see Allah. It's coming to be heard. He deceiveth the whole world. That old serpent, Genesis 3. Every single criteria we found in Allah. You know, Revelation 30 it said it cost both rich and poor, great and small. It cost everyone. This Allah cost Yehovah's pain. By putting his son to the cross and crucifying him. Allah brings about the cross. He is the high ranking angels. He, they were the angel. You can say Isaiah chapter 6 for that. That panels over heavy. Mm -hmm. He almost got the attribute of Yehovah. Fire, fire. Okay. This is serpent. And this Allah. <laughs> that old serpent. The first cause from the mouth of Abba Yehovah is his son. And we find that is the name of Allah in Hebrew. That's it. Language simply means cause. You see the beheaded sword. You see his head is always rising up to bite. That is the Sharia law. That was why the, the royal law called it a great tribulation. My friend, this is the beast. This is the anti-Messiah. This is the number 666. Not just common G5. Thunder strike you, Christa Hinome, for misleading the people of the book in Yahuwah's mighty name. Matthew 24 24. We are running out of time. Quickly, let me do my best. For they shall arise, uh, first Messiahs, plural. The one in Christendom is false, okay? They want to pick it up now, is Islam. And first prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in as so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the elect. Now, many first Messiah, who is doing this notable miracle today, indeed, this useless miracle, it is Jesus. Another one is to come. This is the one coming. See, Revelation 6, 1 to 8, this is the one coming. See, Revelation 9, that is their resurrection, see, is the one coming. This is what is coming to the earth. You know, see how horrible this is. Serpent, you dare not. Okay, you see that already in COVID-19. Coronavirus, how, how heartless. Yes, it's coming to, you know, to slaughter people. Here is where the promise is being given. This Ishmael is coming back. He must be resurrected because I bet you what cannot lie. Listen, now Genesis 16, 10 to 12. And the angel, which is here, who show the angel of his presence, okay? And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, speaking to Agar, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be number for multitude. Islam, they're going to claim the whole world. You don't know what is coming for you. 11. And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt be uh, born a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. Yahushua named Ishmael. Ishmael. What is Ishmael? God here. When Islam called God will hear. Because Yahweh had, okay, now it goes to 12. And see the kind of a child that is coming. This is him. This, this, this begins the religious of Allah, the God of his mother. Allah. 12. And he will be a white donkey of a man, and his hand will be against every nation. I'm going to hang it over there because no nation will be able to beat him. Or I will read it. And every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of his all his brethren. He is a king. He has not yet ruled. This prophecy has yet fulfilled. Genesis, another promise. This promise has, has yet been fulfilled. Like you know, about your wife is not a man that should lie. I read now Genesis 70. You can take it from 70 to 20. I read only 20. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee because I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes 
shall he be God, and I will make him a great nation. So, come, let me tell you. There are 12 princes, that is, there are 12 imam. 11 imam, according to Islam history, 11 imam, number one is Muhammad. 11 imam has already ruled. But the last imam who has been kept, you know, in the well of water, then I say Allah raptured him. So that is the one coming. But has he yet ruled? He was just 11 years old, that be 12 years old, okay, when they killed the father, and they were also in search of him. So Islam, by then Islam was also going through Tom oil that people were also beheaded them because of their falsehood. So the one that's supposed to be imam, the 12th imam, he couldn't rule. So they put him now in the way of water. They now say Allah flew him from that way of water. I think that way of water that either is in Iraq or Iran. So if you see it, because they say it's going to be materialized from there. That is where it's going to appear, you know. Now, he, he let me tell you, uh, Mahadi is coming with double identity, just as Yohukanai, John the Baptist, came with the anointing of Elijah. Inside of it was Eliyahu, but physically was John. In like manner, uh, Mahadi, Mahadi is coming with double identity. Inside of it is going to be Ishmael, and outside of it is Mahadi. They are going to rule. Abayawa gave that prophecy. He says he's going to multiply him exceedingly. The whole world, they're going to capture. This bastard unlinked people, Christian, call Christianity, all their pastor, Miss Sote, all of you, okay? They said the, the law is a bondage. It was speaking of Islam over here, Galatians chapter 4, 21. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? The law, Islam don't have New Testament, they don't have the blood. It's going to be horrible. But if you want to remain that, what, that was that without the blood, you are will be on you will be swept away, you will be taken down to Islam. Listen now, we the both we carry both the law because Yahushua is the shadow. He said, Hebrew 10 1. He said, the, the law is a shadow of a better one to come. You are your shadow, your shadow is you. So you can't dispute that. 22 now, I take from there. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. You see, it's continued the one by a bound woman and the other by a free woman. But he who was of the band woman was born after the flesh. That is the sin. He's coming to avenge. He's a blood avenger. He has a lot of name over here. But he who was a free woman was by promise. Which things are an allegory for this are the two covenants. For one from the Masina, which granted, granted earth to bondage, which is called Ega. <laughs> for this Ega is... is Masana in Arabia and Ansareth to Yerushalayim, which now is and is in bondage with our children. I stop over. You can keep reading for the sake of time. Let me put out that message. You see, to covenant. I bet you won't want to confirm Quran. He want to confirm. That is the mark of the beast. You want to beat against him. He's going to confirm it to wipe all of you, Christian. All you Vood Hindus, you know, idol worshippers, unbelievers, scientists, or uh, uh, um. Hate it. He want to sweep homosexuality less man. He want to remove all of you from his side down to the camp of Allah, becoming Allah Huakubaru. That is the one six to go. Now when you read Daniel chapter 9, 24 to 27, Yahushua is coming to confirm the New Testament. The New Testament hasn't yet confirmed. What you are seeing today, it is the promise Abba you are made with Father Abraham and say, through you all nations will be blessed. When our forefather rejected Yahushua, so he was unable to confirm the new covenant, just as the old covenant will, will be confirmed. And every one of us say, yes, we'll do right at Masana. In the Exodus chapter 19, in like manner, the New Testament will be confirmed. And when Yahushua came, we couldn't see that glory because of our forefathers father unbelieved they rejected him so he's coming to confront the new covenant and the new covenant is with the people of the book not the pork eating people gentile no daniel now chapter 11 40 to 44 you're going to see the dicks of anti messiah is so powerful in art it's ishmael and abayawa made him so he's the blood avengers okay numbers 35 read it all you're going to see him over there. He's coming to avenge blood which blood okay now genesis 4 uh, 15 to 23 Genesis 4, 15 to 23. Oh, my father, what am I right? Genesis 4. Okay, from, um, okay, you can read 15. 
whosoever that left K, seven foot vengeance will be carried upon him. Now 23, 24, who can K? Lamech, the cyst again from K. And that is why Islam is coming to have, they are blood avenger, they are coming to avenge the blood. Why? Because the house of the Gentile is against Gentile. Because the art of, house of a Gentile is where the cause is. It's Abba so whosoever that's left K, seven for judgment, vengeance is going to be given unto that. Abba Yawana gave K the mark of the business he set a marker. Who killed K, cyst from K, slaughter K. And what happened that? That causes now remain in the house of Gentile. And that is where Islam is. Because that is why Islam is the last revelation. Muhammad is the last prophet. That is correct. That is what they are coming to do now to avenge the blood. Is a blood avenger. Is a blood avenger. You said it's only a common G5. You are bastards, Krista. Hit on me. Ordinary G5. You are mad. Okay, Ari, let me quickly do this. If I will be able, Abba, you will help me out. The book of Yashir, chapter 2, verses 26 to 31. I want to see what Abba, you want to your father, your great great grandpa, Cain, Ito, Ari, now, 26. And Lamech was old and advanced in years, and his eyes were uh, dim that he could not see. And to Bokeh, his son, was leading him. And it was one day that Lamech went into the field, and to Bokeh, his son, was with him. And whilst they were walking in the field, Cain, the son of Adam, advanced towards uh, towards them for Lamech was very old and could not see much and the and Tuboke, his son was very young and to uh, uh told his father to draw his bow and with the arrows he smote Cain who was far off and he slew him for the for he appeared to them as an animal that is the mark of the beast Abba you will give it unto him 28 and the arrows entered Cain's body Though he was distant from them, and he fell to the ground and died. And Yehovah requited Cain's evil uh, according to his wickedness, which he had done to his brother Abel, according to the word of Yehovah, which he had spoken. And it came to pass, when Cain had died, that Lamech to Boke went to see the animal which they had slew. They saw, and he behold, Cain, their grandfather, was fully dead upon the earth. And Lamech was very much aggrieved at having done this, and in clapping his hand together, he, slew, he, strike, he struck his son and caused his death also. <laughs> so the cyst from Cain, <laughs> also Cain the seventh from Cain. So the house of Gentile is against Gentile. So it is a war. It, let me tell you, this is the blood avengers. This is the judgment of Abba Yehuwah. He want to use you to fight it. That is the anointing of Judas. Judah is going to be casting out Judas. So their kingdom is against each other. The house of Satan is against Satan. Okay, they are watching war. Abba Yehuwah make it so. Family, we are also done for now. Tomorrow we'll give out another one to the glory of Abba Yehuwah. So, Christopher, you, know, you are a beast. You have already been taught to be still. Wait for a man if coronavirus did not slaughter you. In fact, all of you will be visited by coronavirus in Yahuwah's mighty name. You liars. You deceivers. You couldn't do no miracle anymore. You now say you are not innovators, uh, motivational 